my channel. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. My readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. I want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have shown me towards my channel. And for my new subscribers, welcome. If this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted. So first, I would like to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing, actually logging in and subscribing. And just for all the wonderful great comments that you've been sending to me i totally appreciate that my hand is really itching and it's been itching for a while so still money coming in um pisces the ones that have been receiving their winnings and the ones that have been understanding what winnings are you know the things that are coming the karmic gifts the things that they that they have been receiving um, I totally appreciate you guys for leaving comments and letting us know so that way people don't think that these are just, you know, things that are being made up. There, These are actually happening. These things are actually happening to people and people have already, already received some of the things that they were, they knew that they were supposed to get. So I also brought, I told you guys in the last video that I found this in my pocket and this is all that I have wrote on it. And I stuck this in the pocket, poured wax on it, and when I found it, it was sealed. I cracked it. So I, apparently I was manifesting something at that time. I don't know what it was, what it was for, but I didn't have that amount 20 times over, way more. So that was all it was. I don't know why I did it or when I did it, but I just recently found it from a jacket that I haven't had on probably since 2012. So, somewhere in there. But either way, this was it, and that was all that it was. Everyone else that um, was doing the manifestation, as you guys see, I'm still manifesting on certain people's stuff. Somebody else, I guess they saw the last video, so they told me what they wanted me to help them manifest on so that's why we have that also what we've been manifesting on because this is going to be the Pisces 2020 reading what can you expect coming into 2020 and every time I meditated on your reading every time I shuffled you were getting yes success happiness all is well the birth of things the birth of situations the birth of opportunities the birth of the thoughts that you have been putting into your mind the things that you wanted for your life this is what we're birthing it is power radiance this is a very powerful uplifting card it represents happiness joy vitality optimism it's a positive sign that things are working out well for you and that you're moving in the right direction so lift your head up and realize all the good situations the people everything that's around you right now life is meant to be enjoyed so this is where you count your blessings at i felt like you guys needed to see this because it keeps coming out in your meditation so we're gonna do the pisces 2020 what can Pisces expect going into 2020? What are your thoughts? What are your hopes? What are your dreams? What are you manifesting? Also, everybody that participated in the 222 reading. So the Knight of Swords. Everybody that participated in the 222. If you guys want to, I can I will do a card from each day on something that you want to manifest from and we'll still do it the same way you let me know i'll do the card i don't want to do as many but i'll choose the ones that if i get enough hits on a card i'll choose that meaning you guys tell me which card you want and the card with the most people will be the one that i'll choose to put out and do a reading for Spirit, what can Pisces expect going into 2020? So Pisces, the first thing you have is the Knight of Swords. That's 
being very committed to the truth, very focused, very driven, ambitious, action oriented, like on a mission to succeed, fast thinking, and being very assertive at, at getting what you want, Pisces. This is how you're going to go into 2020. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? And how is Pisces 2020 going to shape up? The star Pisces. The star is about vision, hope, guidance, seeking a direction. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about going into 2020? The star is the embodiment of hope, healing, relaxing. This is like taking a break. Restore your mind, body, your soul, your spirit. This is the common influence that brings the messages of renewal and optimism. This is like inspiration. It reminds you that the universe is working in your favor and encouraging you to have faith. Faith in where you're being taken to, taken to. Things will be okay. So it's like take it easy. Calm your spirit. Calm your mind. It doesn't mean take it easy as far as your work. Put in more action to, for the work. But relax your mind and just know that Spirit, God, Universe is pointing you in the right, right direct. Mm, it's pointing you in the right direction and taking you where you need to go. Having stutter moments, can't get things out. Then you have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know going into 2020? The Six of Wands is about success, achievements, victories, getting recognized for your hard works or talents. Pisces, these things are coming in for you. You're going to be recognized for whatever it is that you have been doing, your situation, whatever goals you have been trying to achieve, you're about to get recognized for them. There is success. There is achievements. You're reaching your goals. You're getting these victories. People are starting to pay attention to what's happening. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about going into 2020? You're receiving your karmic gifts. You're starting to open your eyes and pay attention and realize that these karmic gifts, these dreams, then you have the hermit. You're pushing forward even past when your body is telling you no or when your mind is saying you need to re relax and rest or just feel lazy. Because you know it's not the time. You know it's the time to push. And you know it's the time to work. And you know it's the time to build. So your body is pushing past that. Okay, so we have the hermit. It's about withdrawing, loneliness, being left to your own devices. The hermit yearns to be alone. He knows the only way to process what is happening is to withdraw from the noise of the world. Create a quiet space of solitude. So you could hear what God is saying to you or what the universe is saying to you or just so you can pay attention. So when a hermit comes up in your reading, this is telling you that the answers that you seek are within. Start paying attention to your intuition. Start being quiet. Start being still. Start trying to listen. Because these karmic gifts, like you see, are falling out on the table, are coming. There's work and there's action. The Hermit is about questioning everything only with your heart, your mind, and your soul. So this is about listening to your inner inner person, inner spirit, inner guides. Keep what's ring true and discard everything else. So even when you're seeing, okay, the synchronicities, this was another thing. This keeps coming up. The synchronicities, they keep popping up. You're seeing them everywhere. You're seeing them all over the place. And now you're starting to see them to where it's one, two, one, or one, four, four, one, meaning you're reading them backwards. This The number's the same, frontwards and backwards. This is how you're starting to see them. Same thing, angel numbers. Look these things up. Start to question. Start to question these things. Start to question why when you're seeing them go look go look them up go find out what's being said so that way you can understand or that way the spirit gives you that specific message for that time it's giving you the fact that yes they're here and they're paying attention but it's also saying to you this is what you need to be doing 
for this situation and this time. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know for 2020? Okay, Pisces, you have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is the Earth Mother figure. She's very grounded. She's very calm. This is thinking about your financial needs for your future investments. This is about having insurance, growing investments, your spiritual growth, and bringing things into fruition, Pisces. Thinking about your moves, the moves before you make them. Like I said about the hermit, taking the time, pay attention, move a little slower than maybe you would, but still move. Birthing your dreams, birthing your ideas, birthing... Okay, phase of wands. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we got. Birthing ideas, birthing your dreams, birthing your goals, growing, growing your investments. There are some karmic gifts, Pisces, that are falling out of the sky for you that are that you have put into play from previous before. They're coming into fruition. These things are developing. All of these items are starting to manifest for your future. So you have been wise enough or you are starting to be wise enough to realize the things that you need and what you want for your future. This is also about your spiritual growth. Your spiritual growth is starting to take you down paths and journeys that maybe you haven't even thought you were ready for. You're developing ways that you didn't even think you were going to develop in. But now's the time to remain grounded and calm. Pay attention. Know what you're crafting. Know what life you're you're trying to obtain. So for 2020, it seems like at this point, you need to focus on what you want. Write down your goals. Write down your hopes. Write down your dreams. Write down everything that you think is important for you. Because as you see, you're birthing. It says have hope, vision. You have success. You also had the sun, like I said. It kept coming out in your reading every time. Then you have the page of wands. Page of wands is excited about love, excited about life, following your own path. This is the traveler card. Very passionate, creative, and very much happy about experiencing life for what it is. So this is like trying something new, trying to figure out your purpose all on your spiritual journey. This is telling you, you can create craft, bring these things, bring these dreams, bring these realities into fruition. It's up to you. Watch your attitude because it says excited about life and love. How was your attitude? These are the, the lessons these are the situations that I'm asking you about all the time when I'm saying, how is your attitude? Do you have an attitude for gratitude? Yes, there are things happening. Yes, there are situations that we get ourselves into that we wonder how did we either get here or why are we here? But at this point, you're wanting to know what 2020 is going to bring you. And it looks like it's up to you. You're creating this. It's saying that you have, yes, there's victories here. There's hope, there's vision, there's guidance, there's your birthing. I mean, I don't know how to get this out in any more plain you. It's about you. You have to now change your mindset. So what this is saying to me is 2020 is going to be full of everything your heart's desire. Don't think there's not going to be problems, but are you learning enough to help you maneuver through the situations when it happens? If you're new to this channel, I say all the time, go back first and listen to some other videos because there's lessons there. There's stories. I tell you stories. This is not just a regular tarot channel. So if you came here just for tarot and you want me just to read the tarot and shut up, you should move it along because this is not the channel for you. At this channel, I try to break it down a little more to where we can kind of understand that. Okay, like, like with the Knight of Swords, committed to the truth. 
that's making me feel like you guys are tired of being told whatever it is that is just to make you content and make you okay. You're not with that anymore. You want people to tell you the truth. You want people to just give it to you straight and be done with it. So that way you can make your decision and you can move forward. Be in focus. Have you been focused or is your mind all over the place? Is your mind just in such a state where you're so broken by all the things that have happened that you can't now focus and realize that the universe is giving you an opportunity to craft your own life. You don't have to just take anything anymore. This is where you now have to put the things into play, the situations into play, your dreams into play, and manifest everything that you want. It's about being driven. How much do you want it? How much work are you willing to put in for this, for this dream, for this manifestation, for your life to change? Are you being ambitious? This word means so many different things to each person. Go look it up and then decide what it means to you. First, actually, if I was you, write it down first, what you think it is, and then go look up this word. Are you being ambitious? Are you being action-oriented? Are you moving forward even when you're getting the roadblocks? Because sometimes, this is a lesson in a past video, detoured does not mean delayed or denied. So you can have these roadblocks that show up out of nowhere and you're just wanting to sail along, but now they're saying you got to go this way. But this is annoying. It is very much annoying and it will get on your nerves, but detour does not mean delayed or denied because you can take a detour and still arrive at the same time. You can take a detour and still get to the same destination as you were moving to from the beginning. So the detour does not mean delayed or denied on a mission and driven to succeed. You can obtain as much as you want. You can obtain as much as you push for into. This is what this reading is telling you. Pay attention and know what you want. Fast thinking and assertive and getting what you want. Move, continue to move. Continue to get, get the information as it's happening but always continue to move forward. And then with the star, vision. 2020, the, the clearest vision you could have. But what is your vision? What is your mind telling you? What is your mind manifesting? This is about hope. Because a lot of us, a lot of us Pisces deal with so much stuff that I'm starting to realize through some of these emails that there's a lot of people that have been broken to the point that their hope is also broken. And I'm thankful that you guys appreciate me and you're sending me emails about me giving you hope. I'm thankful I'm thankful for being able to do that, but I need for you to get it yourself. You have to let this thing trickle on down to where now you actually can envision what your life is looking like. So the star is also about seeking a direction. So this is where you got to focus. This is where you need to know. This is why I'm saying write these things down. It's important because write these things down and leave notes for yourself. It's important for you to see these things in your own mind's eye and allow you to be guided by your spirits or your ancestors or God, allow you to be guided by these things. Don't allow your mind to become so overwhelmed with thoughts of, I can't pay this, or I can't do this, or this is happening, or that is happening. Life will happen. No matter, I mean, as long as you're here, you're going to live your life. Life will happen. Deal with what you can deal with, the things you can't deal with. Give it to God and be done with it. Easier said than done, I know. But sometimes we worry about tomorrow when it's not even here and all God is waiting for you to do is just come to him at the threshold or the universe is just waiting for you to come and say, I need help with this or show me how to do that. You need some type of direction, some type of hope, some type of 
This is about your mind, body, and spirit, trying to get everything to align so that way you can focus. So when I see this, sometimes it reminds me or makes me think that of meditation. This would be maybe a good skill for you to learn, or this would now be a good time if you don't know how to pray to learn how to pray or whatever it is that your culture is teaching you or whatever you know how to do. But this is the time for you to kind of try to get your Zen together. So that way you can focus on where it is that you want to go and see these things clearly because there's victories coming. There's blessings coming. There's fruition coming. That means bringing things to where you can visibly see them. There's growth here. And that is in everything, your mind, your body, your spirit. There's growth continually happening. So for 2020, Pisces, you got to listen. You got to pay attention and you got to focus. Craft your life. You got to do the work now because you want to build these things. You want to bring them into fruition. So do the work right now. Also, Pisces pertaining to... And this is just part of the download. It actually goes with your reading. Going into 2020, move things out of your way that are no longer needed. So that means clearing out. Make things so you can see them. Make things so you can visualize them. So at this point in time, from this day, right now, until 12 o'clock, if it takes you that long, clear out your space. Make things so you can see. Meaning, if you have clutter around you, get rid of it, sell it, bring the money closer to you, put it away. There's a lot of people that go into this, they need, well, they want, they want, they want. And you have a lot of things around your house that you wanted, that you don't need. Get rid of it as a donation sell it, just get rid of it. Clear it out so that way it brings in new energy. Get rid of the clutter. So if your clutter, it's time to declutter. Get rid of the clutter. So Pisces, this is your reading for 2020. And some people may want me to go more into detail about this, but I think this is really what you need. This is the meat and grits to this. What I can do and what I will do is the 222 thing again. For those of you who know what that is, if you want me to go further into the card for 2020 for you, then I will. This is not something that I really, I will do it, but because I think this is it. I think this is what you need, but I'm sure I'm going to get the email, so I'll just put it out there. Whatever card you want, let me know and... You guys know the 222, bring it into fruition. But this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, remember your energy. Remember your energy going into 2020. You're making this happen. You're creating this.